Hi guys, welcome back. First video for a little while. Uh, this one is to introduce to you the next big upload to the site. Um, a significant one for me personally because this is my late father's diving helmet collection. Uh, my father was very passionate about diving helmets and equipment. It was, in fact, it was the first thing that he ever collected or dealt with. Um, the first thing I knew when I returned from school was uh, the, there was two diving helmets either side of the fireplace at home. And uh, that was actually the beginning of Trinity Marine. It was something that he knew, knew a lot about and then really enjoyed dealing with and made lots of friends doing so. Um, but it's time after all these years to let, let it all go. Um, the, uh, the, the, it will all be released in the, in the next week. We'll let you know exactly when that is. Uh, so check out our social media and newsletters about that because we'll tell you exactly what time it's all going to get uploaded uh, and it will be on a first come, first, uh, first come, first serve basis. Um, just a quick run through. Lovely pair of Desco US Navy boots. New old stock. Don't think they've ever been dived. He liked the nice looking stuff and, and these, these boots are so attractive with the white canvas and bronze toe caps uh, and the lovely delicious sort of bronze tread on the bottom. Gorgeous. CB Gorman underwater lamp. Bit of a tough to put this out there on the market. Actually, I'd love to keep this, but uh, exceptionally rare these days, this style, of, uh, this style of lamp. The diving tender would suspend these underneath and, and illuminate the areas for the hard hat diving helmets, uh, the hard hat divers. Um, working to about 200 foot and, and super heavy. I've just carried that up the stairs. You wouldn't believe how heavy they are. Uh, the first of the helmets. Super rare Heinke MRO, mine recovery outfit helmet, developed by Heinke in the 60s. Um, there, was pro, there was about 20 known to exist. Uh, and this is the only one we've ever seen that's got this uh, pepper mill on the back. Um, that was a part of the prototype, obviously, the pepper mill's there to help the diver descend and ascend quicker. Beautiful looking Galeazzi helmet. Um, Having said that, actually, we are currently investigating the, uh, the bonnet. There's a suspicion that the bonnet is, uh, is from, a, from a different company, probably like SIAS, but we're investigating that at the moment with the world's leading authority on Galeazzi's. By the time this goes on the website, that'll be, that'll be clarified and priced accordingly. You know, that's one thing we're known for in this business is uh, uh, not only being able to ava uh, make available the diving helmets and antiques, at the correct market value, but also with, with, the right, uh, with, with the right assurances that you're getting exactly what you're paying for. Um, my favourite, this Morse 12 bolt from about the 1960s, an incredibly good condition, all matching numbers, uh, and, uh, and, and a gorgeous looking hat. In fact, this one's featured in, in the Diving Heritage website. There's that sort of virtual museum that you, got, you divers know all about. Um, the classic, iconic Heinke Perla with this square corslet, which Heinke designed to, to help the diver bend over for the pearling industry. Um, bronze and copper hat, a couple of repair patches on there, but they don't detract. That's part of its charm. Heinke went limited in about 19, well, they did go limited in 1922 and stamped their helmets accordingly. This, this, so this predates 1922. Could be anywhere between 1890 and, and 1922. And uh, not the rarest hat, but a really lovely example with a gorgeous patina on it. This Russian 12 bolt, you know, which we, we consider to be like a collection starter. Um, these, these are becoming very hard to find nowadays. And uh, the 12 bolts um, make this the sort of most attractive uh, uh, Russian hat, hat that you can get. Um, and that's about it, you know, to follow in the next month or two will be the, 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 the rest of his collection uh, of nautical antiques and, and collector's pieces. But we're starting with the diving gear. And as I said, keep your eye on social media for the release date, which will be very soon. Uh, and uh, good luck. 